Okay, hi there. Welcome. We're going to look at uh, another micro video now and think about how we can build a really good chain of reasoning to improve our analysis marks available. The exam reports are clear. They look for your analysis to be presented as a chain of reasoning, presenting some theory, developing the point you're making to a logical conclusion, perhaps four or five little links in the chain. Once you've done that, it will certainly help the evaluation. Here's our question. When will a firm consider shutting down production? The shutdown price are the conditions and price where a firm will decide to stop producing, given that fixed costs have to be paid anyway. So let's build a chain of reasoning. Here we go. In the short run, a period of time, of course, when there's at least one fixed factor, in the short run, a business will continue to supply products as long as their revenues at least cover variable cost. Revenue is price per unit multiplied by output. So we're looking to at least cover variable costs. Well, what are variable costs? They are the costs that vary directly with output. Good examples include raw materials, component parts, and hourly wage costs. So a nice little point, chance there to put a definition in about variable costs. And firms have to cover variable costs in the short run, providing that the price per unit they're charging for their product is greater than the average variable cost, the variable cost per unit, AVC, then a contribution is being made to cover some of the fixed or the overhead costs. Here's a little bridging phrase in red, coloured red there. As a result is a good phrase to use in your chain of reasoning. As a result, the firm will be better off continuing production if we assume that the fixed costs are lost if they shut down. Fixed costs have to be paid anyway, so if they shut down, you lose the fixed costs. However, if there's a fall in demand and the price they're selling drops below average variable cost, then a business might opt to shut down some wall of production, maybe close a plant or close a, a shop, for example, to minimise their losses. This is because, another connective phrase, this is because not enough revenue is being generated. Total losses that they suffer would be greater if they carried on producing in the short term. So here's an example of how to build a chain of reasoning there. That could all be built into a, a chunky paragraph. Obviously, then you'd be looking to build the analysis with the diagram. I'm going to take the example of perfect competition. So here's our cost curves at price P1. That price, if that was the average and marginal revenue curve in perfect competition, that would be sufficient to cover all costs, just touching the minimum point of average cost. If you cover all of your costs fixed and variable, you're making normal profit. Lower price P2. <clears throat> P2 is obviously much lower. You can't cover all the costs. Here you can just cover average variable cost. And uh, that is the shutdown point. So if the price was to fall below P2, below P2, then that will be a shut down price. Because if you stop production, you lose the fixed costs, you carry on producing the loss is even greater because the price is below even the variable cost of production. Of course, in the real world, there could be some circumstances when the firms will continue to produce. Perhaps it's just a temporary fall in demand, a seasonal fall in demand, maybe a temporary recession. Maybe the firm is able to use some of the past profits just to keep going and during difficult times. Perhaps there's an opportunity to cut their costs particularly the flexible labour market, perhaps they can cut their, their costs or renegotiate some rents or renegotiate some other supply costs, etc. It takes time, obviously, for the firm to think about some of the costs of shutting down production. So maybe leaving the market has a cost to bear as well. All of these things you can build into evaluation, but start with good analysis and then your evaluation will flow more freely, more easily from that point onwards. Okay, thank you very much.